In this video, I'll show you how to create a payoff calculator using Google Sheets. Back in college, I was trying to find some student loan or credit card payoff calculators online. I found one that I really liked, and to this day, I still use it. This calculator can be used for practically any debt. In fact, I even use this calculator to plan for future big purchases like buying a new laptop or going on vacation by determining how much I need to save or how long it will take to save. With that in mind, let's get started. The first table we will need to create is the balance info table. This table will include the current balance, interest rate, and interest only payment values. Highlight the current balance cell and format the cell to be in currency form. Highlight the interest rate cell to be formatted in percentage form. The only cell from this table that we need to calculate is the interest only payment value. The interest only payment value will be determined by taking the current balance and multiplying it by the interest rate. Once that value is determined, you divide that value by 12 months. To test this out, we entered a value of let's say $5,000 of our current balance and an interest rate of 19.24%. The current balance and interest rate are the only values that you will need to input manually for this table. As you can see, we have determined the interest only payment based on our criteria. We are now ready to move on to our first option of paying off the balance. In this first option, we will calculate how many months it will take to pay off the whole balance based on how much we can pay per month. To set up this table, we will include the monthly payment, months to pay off, and total interest being paid. The monthly payment is the only value that you will need to input manually for this table. For the months to pay off and total interest, those values will be calculated. The formula to calculate the months to pay off field is read as follows. If the monthly payment value in cell C9 is zero, then display a dash in the months to pay off field. Else, calculate the months to pay off value by using the end per function. The end per function will take the interest value in C4 and divide that by 12 months. Next, it will use the monthly payment value in C9 as the payment amount and then it will take the negative value of the current balance in C3. The formula to calculate the total interest value is read as follows. If the monthly payment value in cell C9 is zero, then display a dash in a total interest field. Else calculate the total interest value by multiplying the months to pay off value in cell C12 and monthly payment value in cell C9, and then subtract the current balance in cell C3. To test this out, let's enter $200 as the monthly payment value. This table will then provide how many months it will take for you to pay off your current balance if your monthly payment value was $200. Format the months to pay out value as needed. If you would like to convert the months to payoff values to years, then use the round function to do so. The formula is read as follows. Identify the opening parentheses in quotes and then use the round function. Identify the round function by surrounding it with ampersand characters. The round function will take the months to payoff value in cell C12 and divide that by 12 months. The next value inside the function will round the value by the certain number of decimal places. In this example, we will round the value by two decimal places. Lastly, identify the additional space, the label years, and the closing parentheses in quotes. You can now identify how many months to pay off by a yearly value. Again, this table is a good way for you to calculate how many months will be involved once you have decided on the monthly payment value. The more you can contribute to the monthly payment, the faster you can reach your goal in paying it off. You can also calculate the payoff goal in months by providing how many months you would like to pay off your debt. To set up this table, we will include the payoff goal in months, the monthly payment, and the total interest being paid. The payoff goal in months is the only value that you will need to input manually for this table. For the monthly payment and total interest, those values will be calculated. The formula to calculate the monthly payment value is read as follows. If the payoff goal in months value in cell C18 is zero, then display a dash in the monthly payment field. Else calculate the monthly payment value using the PMT function. 
The PMT function will take the interest value in cell C4 and divide that by 12 months. Next, it will use the payoff goal in months value in cell C18 as the number of periods. And then it will take the negative value of the current balance in cell C3. The formula to calculate the total interest value is read as follows. If the payoff goal in months value in cell C18 is 0, then display a dash in the total interest field. Else calculate the total interest value by multiplying the monthly payment value in cell 21 and payoff goal in months value in cell C18, and then subtract the current balance in cell C3. To test this out, let's enter 12 months as the payoff goal value. This table will then provide you how much your monthly payment will need to be in order to pay off your current balance by the desired payoff goal in months. For this example, to pay off a balance of $5,000 with an interest rate of 19.24%, your monthly payment will need to be $461.36 if you want to pay it off in the next 12 months. If you would like to convert the payoff goals in months value to years, then use the round function like we did in our previous table. The formula is read as follows. Identify the opening parentheses in quotes and then use the round function. Identify the round function by surrounding it with ampersand characters. The round function will take the payoff goal in months value in C18 and divide that by 12 months. The next value inside the function will round the value by the certain number of decimal places. In this example, we will round the year value by two decimal places. Lastly, identify the additional space, the label years, and the closing parentheses in quotes. You can now identify how many months to pay off by a yearly value. Make sure to pause the video to review anything that you may have missed. This calculator will help you attack any outstanding balances by determining the monthly payment or by months to pay off. This tool will help you know what it will take to pay off any current balance you enter. To help you visually, go ahead and format your tables with your own creative ideas. For me, I specifically colored every cell in except the ones that required manual entry. Whether you create your own calculator or find one online or even use an app on your phone, a tool like this will help you visualize what it will take for you to pay off all your balances and accounts and ultimately reaching that debt-free status. This calculator encouraged us to aggressively attack all our debts one by one and helped us plan a timeline for each account being paid off. We know what it took for us to win and now you can do the same. In the description down below, I provided all the formulas that we used in this video and I provided some links to similar calculators I found online. Thanks for watching, be sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to catch more videos like this one and I'll see you all in the next one.